Spokane Valley Road construction leaving neighbors with no escape. If another wildfire should start, what's going to happen then? A Spokane Valley neighborhood just can't seem to get away from a mess. First it had to deal with a Valley View fire. Now neighbors in the Dishman Hills are worried about a construction project. Bulldozers have dug up the main entrance and exit for 300 homes near East 16th and Bettman. One homeowner is concerned the construction is blocking access for emergency vehicles. KXY 4's Eric Loney has her story. Eric? Yeah, we're on East 16th, just west of Carnahan. There's a construction project, and you see it's still underway right now. And this road, East 16th, will be closed all day tomorrow from 7 to 5.30 because of that project. That has at least one neighbor, Pat Miller, worried. She's worried about bringing her husband home from the hospital in the coming days after he's had open-heart surgery because she's concerned about emergency vehicles getting through that construction project. My concern is the limited access to this area. Pat Miller is feeling trapped. We only have two roads into this area. Her home near 18th and Seahorn is in the middle of a major water and sewer project. All the streets in the area are under construction. They're pretty much all dug up. And that includes Batman and East 16th. The two roads are the only way in and out for all of her neighbors. And if another wildfire should start, what's going to happen then? The neighborhood is close to where the devastating Valley View fire burned last summer and destroyed 11 homes. Up here is where the big fire was? Yeah. Spokane Valley Deputy Fire Marshal Bill Clifford says the department is aware of the problem and prepared. It's been relayed to us that if we have a, uh, a major call going on up in there where we need, really need to get through fast, make a, a phone call to the contractor and they'll make sure the road is, is um, passable. The department has responded to five calls in the neighborhood since the project started and hasn't had a problem so far. It's slow going because it's bumpy, but the, the trucks didn't have any problem getting to it. My concern is the access, not the project. Miller just hopes this emergency plan works if called upon. And I realize they can't stop the project, but at least give us an access in and out that's easier than what it is now. That's what we need desperately. Tomorrow, Batman will still be open for traffic to get out of the neighborhood. Miller's husband said it won't be out of the hospital for a week or two. She's still not sure what they're going to do about bringing him home. Now, this project is supposed to be underway and not wrap up until October 15th. Reporting live, Eric Loney, KXY4 HD News.